So I've been testing the June Cine Pierre CM15 lights for the past couple of days and here is what I think about these tiny LED lights. Let's get into the video. Inside the box you get a Cine Pierre CM15 LED light, a diffuser and a Type-C USB cable which can also be used to power the light using a power bank. So I'm not here to do any technical details and light detail technology and all that, no. What I'm here to do is test the lights like I would use on a regular set. So when the lights came in, I asked my wife if she was comfortable being my model because I've never shot hair for any of my personal projects. And she was like, Yeah, sure, I'll be your model. <laughs> so that's how this whole thing started. set up for her, watching TV, reading a book, and how she might probably set up for any of her YouTube videos. For the next scene, I set up one light in front of her to mimic the lights that were coming from the TV. Then I set up another light on the side to mimic the lights that was coming from the practical lights in the background. Both of these lights were around 20 to 30% brightness and the G200 was just 1% brightness to brighten up the shot a little bit. So these are just the test shots. Let's go through them, then we'll continue to the next scene. For these shots with a candle, I had one CM15 to the side at 30% brightness to mimic the light that was coming from the candle. I think my only problem was that the transition between the highs and the lows in the candle effect was too sharp. If this was a bit faded in, it would have looked really great. All the same, I loved the results from testing the CM15 and I can't wait to keep testing them the more. So if you're in the market looking to buy the CM15, I'm dropping a link in the comment section that would give you 10% off any of the purchases you make on the CM15. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll catch you again in another video. Cheers.